We go now to the shocking case of the Christmas Grinch. An elderly man in Penline Castle, St. Thomas, is complaining that thieves are putting his livelihood at risk. After growing and pruning trees, Christmas trees rather, for years, he claims that robbers are stealing them in the dead of the night. TVJ Shamela Pullen visited the farm in the Blue Mountains. Do you know where your Christmas trees are coming from? One farmer in Penline Castle, St. Thomas, is urging merchants to be more vigilant. He laments that some of his Christmas trees end up on the market during the holiday season, and he's not the one reaping or selling them. I love the money when it brings during the Christmas time, you know. 77 year old Mansi Hardy has been a Christmas tree farmer for over 20 years. Mr. Hardy plants and prunes his trees here in the Blue Mountain. That's all he does for a living. He sells the Christmas trees in bulk to persons in the area, who then take it to Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew for a sale. Imagine growing your Christmas trees for three years, nurturing and preparing them for the busy Christmas season only to have them taken away by thieves. Up to last night, they come and steal some. You know, when I sleep, they come in and they just cut and gone. So I have no security and it's me alone, you know. So How often they do that? Well, by the season over, then probably take, take all 25. A big loss for Mr. Hardy. But he thinks the culprits aren't strangers. They come, remember they buy, you know. So when they come and buy, they look. And it's the same people them who buy. Come back, so they mark the ones that they want to cut when they come in at night. Same way as we cut a tree. They have to have the vehicle to move at the same time, because sometimes the, the owner will live nearby, you know, where, where them trees is. Another farmer, Merlin Walker, thinks some of the alleged thieves are unemployed people from the area. They can till the soil and plant something. They can sow carrot and then can plant skellion and then can plant thyme and then came to a turnip and plant red peas. In the meantime, Mr. Hardy says he's determined to continue doing what he loves. Coffee boring. Coffee you just plant and reap. But you have to have the heart in this. If you notice, it's a hard work. You know, you prune them for three times a year to get that perfect shape that everybody wants. Yeah. And they smell good, me like the smell too. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.